bananas and then raspberries and blueberries just fruit to have in the morning and then I got a bunch of protein bars this one is the no cow chunky peanut butter I tried this in a different flavor and I didn't love it but I'm gonna give this one a shot and then I got the go macro peanut butter chocolate chip this is like one of my favorite bars and then I got two of the RX bars. I've actually never had these. This one is the chocolate chip. And then this one right here is the peanut butter chocolate. But I just figured I'd get a bunch of bars and try some different ones out. I can have this for a snack. And then I also got an avocado. I didn't make a list, so I didn't really know what to get. I just figured I'd pick up a few random things. And then this is what I got for dinner. I originally ordered salmon, but when I got there, they were completely out of the salmon. So I ended up having to wait for them to make something different. But this honestly looks really good. I just got shrimp skewers, zucchini with rosemary, and then rice. morning you guys i am going to be so much better about vlogging today yesterday my day just did not go as planned and what i want to say about that is it's totally fine if you have a day that you're expecting to do all these things and then you end up doing different stuff you don't have to be hard on yourself like don't even worry about it i don't know why my voice is like so scratchy sounding um but yeah like don't even stress just do it the next day like i've already had a productive morning i made my coffee and then sat down got some work done so i'm feeling great about that but i just wanted to quickly thank ritual for sponsoring the vlog today i've been taking this multivitamin for at least a year now it's the ritual essential for women 18 plus multivitamin and for me like i think it's important to take a multivitamin every day just because you don't always get all the nutrients that your body needs from your diet alone and with this one you know exactly what you're getting there's a lot of multivitamins out there that have like mystery ingredients or just like things added into it that you have no idea so with this you know exactly what you're putting in your body and you just take two capsules every day you get nine main nutrients and you can take it on an empty stomach or you can take it with food i like that you can take it on an empty stomach because i'm one of those people that like has to do it right away in the morning or i'll forget so i take mine right in the morning and i like that you can take it on an empty stomach but the reason you can is because their multivitamin has a delayed release capsule design so it'll dissolve later they did give me a code to give to you guys and it's hey 20 for 20 percent off your first month so you just want to use that at checkout and then you can save 20 percent on your order which is a great deal i think you guys will love it i also really like that if you like just literally smell it it smells like mint and tastes like mint so it's super good but thank you again ritual for sponsoring the vlog we are gonna head over to the grocery store i need to get that done earlier in the day just because like i want to go and get that out of the way so i'm gonna get ready and then we're gonna leave I have to film a TikTok for Princess Polly, so I'm gonna do that before I leave. I just opened all the clothes. I actually wore one of the dresses that I got for Easter on Sunday, and it is so pretty. I'll show you guys what I picked out, but this floral blue dress is like a midi dress, and it has a slit right here. 
I'll show most of it when I actually wear it and then you guys can see on TikTok too. But I got this set that has these black pants and then it's like a tube style top which is super cute. It looks like very comfortable and I like the material. And then I also got this right here which is such a cute bikini. I love the colors in it and I also got a little purple clip. Do you need straws? No, thank you. Where's this? Perfect, thanks Have so much. Day. Yeah, you too. I am so happy about this. This is my new drink order and Caitlin put me onto it, but it is so good. I just parked and I'm gonna put you guys right here, but I wanted to fill you guys in on what I was doing yesterday. I honestly wasn't sure if I was going to tell you or not, but I just want to tell you. So yesterday, I ended up going and touring two different apartment complexes, and I might be moving apartments. I don't really know yet, though, so that's kind of why I wasn't going to say it, because I thought maybe I should wait until I know for sure, but I'm like, whatever, I'm just going to get your guys' thoughts on it because I want to know if you want me to film apartment hunting videos if I am looking. But I went to two different complexes and one of them I didn't really like and then the other one I loved. But I am just kind of looking right now. I had seen some online and the reason I would move is not because I don't like my apartment. I do think it's super cute and I love it. But I've also lived in it for two years and I'm in my apartment a lot. And so I kind of just want to change my environment, have like a different scenery to look at every day and also maybe move areas a little bit in Vegas. It's hard because honestly, Vegas sucks with apartment complex options. Like there is really not that many good ones and so it's hard for me to like find something that I like and that I want to pay for and then also too in terms of like availability so many complexes like don't have good availability of like certain units so I don't really know because I'm also debating on if I get a two bedroom somewhere else or if like they don't have availability, do I just get a one bedroom? But then I'm like, oh, I like having two rooms because I have more space and I've been wanting to build an office. And actually my exciting delivery today is my desk. It's an in-home delivery and I thought that meant that they were gonna build it for me, but then I was looking at it and it says assembly required. So I think that means I have to build it, which is kind of annoying. So I'm gonna do that later once they bring it. But that's kind of why I'm like not sure what to do because if there aren't any two bedrooms available, then I'm like, do I just stay in my apartment so I can have two rooms or do I just like still switch? I don't know, cause there are complexes that I like the pool better and the gym better and maybe the area better. And so it would still be worth it even if I have like a little bit of a smaller space and I don't need two rooms and two bathrooms. So my head is kind of all over the place, which is why I wasn't sure if I was gonna tell you, but I just want you guys to know, and I also want your feedback on if you want to see videos of me going and looking at different apartments, and if you want videos of like moving vlogs and all of that. I have to decide like pretty quickly because my lease is up at the end of June, and at my apartment complex you have to give 60 days of termination which i feel like is ridiculous because 60 days i have to find a new apartment that early i don't know it's weird because if i look at apartments right now it'll say like available in may and then if you change the date on the apartment the rent is like way higher in price so i kind of have to wait until like it says the availability is closer to my like lease ending, I don't know, it's like hard to explain, but yeah, so I'm looking at new apartments, which is very fun. So you guys will have to just like tell me your thoughts. I'm gonna go to, I was debating on Trader Joe's or Whole Foods, but I think I'm just gonna go to Whole Foods because there's some like certain things that I wanna get there. And then I can go home build my desk which is also like so hard for me because i'm like if i do move apartments and then get a one bedroom and i'm like putting an office together it like doesn't make sense so i don't know it's it's hard right now because i'm like don't know what i'm doing but i'm trying to figure it out <music> I got 
this white bread that is like low carb and there's 14 grams of fiber in each piece. And then I also got these Canyon Bakehouse gluten-free bagels. I got the everything bagel this time because I haven't tried this one out yet. And then I just got strawberries and blackberries, some pesto. I'm going to do a like fusilli pasta. So I figured I would put pesto on it and I really love this one from Whole Foods. It's the spicy vegan. For protein, I got some pasture raised eggs, organic chicken, and oven roasted turkey breast. And then I got a bunch of veggies because I'm going to do a chicken stir fry tonight. So I got carrots, broccolini, red onion, yellow and red bell peppers, some peeled garlic and ginger, and then I got another avocado and some grape tomatoes to put on to the fusilli pasta. And then just got my yogurt and some more oat milk. I need to get all of my groceries put away. And then I'm also gonna have a protein bar for a snack. I'm just gonna do this one because I've been wanting to try it. It's the peanut butter chocolate RX bar. And there's 12 grams of protein in it, which is pretty good for like such a small bar. I can't believe I've never had these bars before. Like I've seen them so many times and I've just like never bought one. This thing came in such a big box. So I got some scissors and we're gonna attempt to assemble this. Literally look how big this box is. I think I don't know. I'm just going to do it in the middle of the floor and then I'll figure out like where I want to put it in here. But yeah, it's so big. Oh, it's so heavy. Oh my god. <sighs> oh. I ordered this from CB2 and it only took like a couple weeks to deliver just because it was in stock but thankfully if I don't like it I mean it would be really annoying I would have to disassemble it but I have 60 days to bring it back and I got a like darker wood which I'll explain later but hopefully since it's from a higher end store the instructions and everything is like pretty simple because like the stuff that I've gotten from Ikea always takes me forever to build and I did not want to deal with that again so I didn't get anything from Ikea but the instructions are right here so let's figure this out oh pretty good there's only like three steps I just got this built and I actually think it's super cute. I really do like the style of it with it just being like very simple. It's a little bit small, but honestly, it only looks small because there's not really anything else in this room. If I keep this apartment or if I get another two bedroom, what I'll end up doing is getting more furniture. So I'll get like a little couch or a love seat, something to go on the opposite wall. I'd probably switch it so that the desk is on this side. And then I'd end up wanting to get a rug and a little coffee table so that I can have just like an entire office with more furniture so I didn't want the desk to take up too much space it just kind of looks weird right now and then also too I could put something else on the opposite side like a little uh, plant or I don't know I'll have to figure it out but I got this desk in the chocolate brown it's called the Akasha wood I believe it comes in four different colors but I did like this wood just because 
It's very timeless and dark wood is coming back in 2022's design trends if you like read about them. And so I wanted something that would um, just match with everything. You can mix the colors of woods and this desk does have two drawers. So there is some storage with it but it still looks like pretty sleek on the front of it. Also with the desk and buying furniture, furniture is very expensive and there are some pieces that you want to splurge and some pieces you want to save. For me personally, I wanted to save on the desk, get a cheaper desk that I still liked and was good quality and then get a more expensive chair or couch and I am really excited about the chair I picked. I'm hoping that it's cute with the desk and it looks good in here. I'll have to wait and see but I am supposed to be getting it delivered this week so hopefully in the next vlog or next couple vlogs you guys will get to see it but I just wanted to um, save a little bit on the desk get something simple and I feel like this is a perfect piece just to match with whatever else I want so I'm excited about that and I think I'm going to move my like um iMac right now just because then I can get it off of this table it's like been sitting here for so long I feel like I can't really use this space that much so I'm gonna put that in here and you can see what that looks like. I kind of think that this would be better on the other side because the outlet is more in the center of the room. But just to see, that's the one thing about an iMac that's a bummer is that they're um, is a cord attached to it and it has to be plugged in otherwise I would love having the desk like more in the middle of the room and then you could do the chair on this side and then two other chairs or something on the other side but since I have the iMac it just like doesn't really work that well when I have the chair it'll be better because then I can kind of hide the cord a little more I've honestly never even checked to see if these are Bluetooth like, does this charge it and then keep it charged, or does it always have to be plugged in? I'm, like, not really sure. I also really like that the wood of this desk is different than the wood of the frames. I love the mixture of woods right now. I think that looks really pretty. I'm hoping that this fits in the drawer. Oh, that is perfect. That's super nice because then I can keep it cleared. I like that it has a couple drawers because I put my chargers in here. And then also too, if I didn't want these out, I could just stick these in here. And then I could have this like completely, oh, it doesn't fit that way. Okay, let's try it like this. If I just wanted it to be cleared off, have it like that in here and then just my laptop right here basic dinner but I just did brown rice and then the chicken stir fry with all the veggies I used ginger and garlic coconut amino salt and pepper pretty much just for the seasoning and then I topped it with sesame seeds I need to clean up dinner and then I honestly really just want to take a bath and lay down. It's 7.44 but I am so tired. I just feel like I have done a lot today and I did not sleep a lot last night because I went to bed way too late and then still got up at 6am. So I'm just feeling extra tired today but I'm going to start with cleaning up the kitchen and then I'm taking a bath which will be so nice. I'd rather just do this first and get it out of the way because I know that I'm not going to want to have to do it after. Also, I'm like almost out of dish soap. I 
I literally just realized that my dishwasher is clean. So I have to unload this first. just finished washing my face and taking my makeup off but this mask ageless serum has been part of my nightly skincare routine and i really like it it smells super good and it just feels really smooth i was picking on my cheek though today and it's so red now so don't mind that I also wanted to tell you guys, I've been loving this Lux Unfiltered Self-Tanning Cream. This one is so nice because it's really gradual and when you put it on, you can do it at night and it won't get like all over your sheets and it also doesn't smell weird. Like some self-tanners just like straight up smell like you have tanner on, but this one is just like a really clean, natural scent. So I've been really liking using this. You just put it on after you like shower and exfoliate and I just wait like a few minutes before getting dressed but Caitlin was the one that bought this for me and I didn't use it a lot in the winter because I didn't really care about being tan but now that like summer is coming I want to be more tan and I don't want to get all of my tan from laying out in the sun just because it's like not good for your skin. So I want to have like some tan from my tanning cream. And yeah, I really like this one. But it's by Savanela and it's the Lux Unfiltered Rosewood one. So I'm just going to do the rest of my body and then I can lay down. I just got my PJs on and I'm all ready to lay down. It's really early, it's 8.48, so I'm not gonna go to sleep yet, but I probably will fall asleep before 10. I have like some time to just chill, go on my phone, and then I'll probably like read or just like relax for a little bit. But I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I'm gonna close it out here. I love you all. Make sure you're subscribed if you aren't subscribed yet. Put on my post notifications, and I will see you in the next vlog. Good night.